sure. I know, but it didn't feel good though. <laughs> oh my god, his hat is huge! Alright, that was my first Wait, game. go back, because his hat is huge. Bro. Yeah, that shit actually goes like, all the way up. I clicked a picture of that, I meant to send it to Nico and be like, yo, we just want to see what this. Monkey! <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a that's a eat up from the owl house but she's wearing no hoodies. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I know. I'm just saying, because that was the set that I wanted you to do. I'm going to play a game, like one game with Gene, and I'm going to pull you to the yeah. side and you're doing like one on one stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Can I just do like one more game? That's it. That, that's it. It's all so I want. Don't go anywhere. That was the, no, Sit no, there. I want you to watch it for close. Was like, 
Gene, I'm going to do one game. Last, it was like this. It was like this year, right? So it was like this year or last year? Not last year. 2021 was the best. I cried. I was on the phone. And I was on the phone. 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 I was on the phone.
But I know enough of his character from playing against his character to know more or less what he can and can't do. Like, for instance, one of the things that I saw was that you were in disadvantage and you were on the left side of the stage and he was putting pressure on you and you were landing and he was at low percent and you nared him, which was really dangerous because, yeah, it's a hit, but, like, it's a hit that would allow him to reposition himself and hit you harder. Like, you, you would have gotten punished for hitting him. If you do, like, fair instead, fair has drag down properties, so if you hit fair and, like, fast sell, you could have down it into a reset on, uh, concept, like, a reset situation, and you could have got way more damage out of that. Um, not that attacking at disadvantage is always the solution, but in that specific instance, having that knowledge of what you can do is super, super important. You were playing well off your combo game when it came to hitting your projectiles, but I feel like if you take more time to learn the character and learn what he can do with his uses and his aerials, you're going to be way better off. And that's not something that I can necessarily teach you again because I'm not your character specialist. But as far as like neutral and the way that you're playing the game, it's very matchy and it's very luck based because you don't utilize your character to its fullest potential. So to that end, I would do like I, w I would watch like character guides and listen very closely to what they recommend doing in certain situations, learning how to like truly optimize your character because you know some stuff. And I see it, you know what I mean? Like, I see, like, whenever you get, like, hits from, like, Boomerang, for example, you can combo into up smash, and you, you, you're doing what you can for high percent damage with your kills, even if it doesn't land. But in general, your neutral is suffering a lot just because you need to learn a lot more with your character. And because you're always switching characters, that doesn't help you because now your brain is forcing yourself to reset. You're constantly having to go through, okay, how do I play Yemenis? How do I play Wolf? So how do I play Lucina? And how do I play Bowser Jr.? That's a never ending cycle. And if you really want to improve yourself and get better, at least at the level that you're at, you have to commit to a character. You have to commit to a character now so that you can understand neutral, you can understand how this game operates, and from there, once you're comfortable with the game as a whole, not just your character, but understanding how something works like completely, then you can diversify yourself. Then you can say, okay, well, I'll move on to this character. But until you learn to, to really get that going with one character, you're not going to find success in the one. And that's, that's true, and that's another thing. Like, take your, your goals, um, you know, reconsider your goals to where, what fits. I know for myself, I can't be a top player. I only, I go to work all the time, and I only have time for one tournament. So, my only goal is to be the best that I can be in MTS. I'm not going to try to be some top player or some anything like that, but as long as I can put some respect on my name in the one tournament I go to, I'm sure. You know what I mean? And that's a small goal for me. That's it. And even then, that's a hard goal, because the top 50 in the whole entire world plays at this tournament. So, like, you know... That's, it's very hard. Um, so I'm not asking you to, you know, to lessen yourself or lessen your expectations, but try to, to find a parallel between what you can see yourself doing and where you are now and get yourself to what you can see yourself doing, even if it's not the most that you want to be. You feel me? <laughs> and as, as you should, you know, if you have the time for it and the resources to it, 100%. And that's a valid goal. Everyone can do it. The fact that 13 and 15 year olds are constantly rolling out and winning thousands and thousands of dollars is absolutely amazing to me. You know? So, like, Steve Hall, you know, because there's people that do it without that. Grab their videos, take two of those fucking events, rod and fucking, you know, everybody else. It's crazy what people do. So, hold on to your goal, but understand that goals are very
Hello, guys. Hey, Crystal. Can you guys hear us? Trying to test out all the levels. How do we sound? How do we sound? Oh, we sound really good. So I can move that. The third buff is from, so you can make one here. We have Haku right now at 189. <coughs> and we have one away with two top. Yeah, you, you sound good. This month, this is a hot mode. Time. Okay, freeze balls from Haku. I don't know why you would do that in a game one situation. This is a competitive environment. Um, but hey, you know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do. Get to the forward air, unable to confirm, tries to go for a down smash, but that was way too late. I think that's what he wanted to do initially, but he just didn't commit to it. But Don got kind of saved again. Now he weirdly put towards the stage, but now he has to save again. Get down smash to make this adult. Goes for the down air and doesn't get it. Forward air, back air, and that is not going to kill, but almost. You've got to be careful with that recovery, though. I don't agree with soul bashing like that. Because down smash is not going to kill? It does. Wow, that is a very upsetting game one loss that SB's going to have. You can see it in the face cam. Oh, that looks great. We're happy about that right now. Um, that should have killed. That should kill. We'll see what happens. We do? Will he say Pikachu? And he will! Content with the first game, uh, Haku gets it, and that's gonna be it. So game two is coming right now, and we need some characters. Like that. Three, two, Traumatized like that. I guess it goes on. Nice, nice. Get the easy 
dance in the blade confirm with the tipper, and that's gonna go Pikachu relatively early. Will Haku be able to come back from that? Uh, we'll see, because when Etsy plays angry, he plays different in ways that can be good and also can be bad. Oh, and the SD is not going to be awful from taking momentum away from Haku. Okay, so SD got a, a three stock to one lead. Uh, will he wrap this up quickly or will he come back? Nah, uh, John's playing hot right now. Okay, doesn't get the dash attack, gets down there instead. Okay, he's finishing. Alright, Haku has been escaped. Okay, with the forward air, down air. And he SDs all three stocks. Pretty messy game from Haku after what looks like a really dominant neutral game from game one. Um, wow, that's definitely something to consider. I don't know if that's going to force him to change his character or not. Uh, Haku is known for a character like a color change. We'll see. It's so fucking goofy. Character. I'm indeterminate. Sometimes I think it's Pikachu, and sometimes it's Bowser Jr. Slash Wolf. Versus Mark right now. So let's get into the game and uh, see what happens. Gets in there, and he tries to reject. Doesn't get a kill, but puts a decent damage on Mars. Goes for it again, and unfortunately, it's too low. Back air. Sets it up one more time. Too far to the left. And I like what he's doing. He's very aggressive with his offstage shenanigans. Uh, and it's safe, you know? There's no way he could really punish that, at least how John is demonstrating his movement. Uh, tries to get the falling cannonball. That would have been sick. Jab will kill here, 100%. Uh, they buffed that really, really nicely in, uh, I think, 11. So yeah, Bowser Jr. is looking like a menace. Okay, uh, trying to get some quick damage with Dancing Blade. Misses all of it, but doesn't get punished for missing hard. All right, safely takes center stage back. I'd love to see more center stage control from Haku right now. Right now, he's looking like he wants the box a little bit too much. Yeah, I've seen a lot of quick match, and that's going to take it. Tipper uh, Dancing Blade is going to quickly take that stop. Get some Mecha Koopa out. Just grabs it, not afraid. Okay, doesn't combo off of it though. Alright. Get some Mecha Koopa again, put some pressure. Tries to re-grab it, misses, but okay. I'm glad he abandoned it. Gets a quick jab. Nice. Alright. But he still has his jump to be sure. Okay, takes it again. Uh, what's gonna be the punish here? Goes for the forward. I think Nair would have been a lot safer and faster too. That would have definitely closed the stop, but doesn't do it. Pushes him away again. Cannonball. Mecha Koopa gets it again, and he gets the air dodge. That's going to take it, and now Entropy's in a real bad spot here. Haku looking to create the upset of the night, which would be super early in the first game of the bracket. All right, Death Dancing Blade, one and three, unable to close in the last hit, however. And now Haku just has to hold center stage. He has to find a way to force Mark to come to him. But right now, it's looking like he wants to hit too much. And, you know, it's not that that's a bad thing ever. But at a level like this, you want to make sure you're playing the game as close to perfect as possible. Alright. Ooh, risky! Risky recovery! Gets hit! Okay, air dodge doesn't get uh, DSD out of that. That was really scary. This is a super, how you doing? Um, welcome to the uh, Breakfast Club. And that's going to be fourth match. 52%. Mark is in trouble, but it's not unduel. You know, this is danger territory, yeah. Alright, got the setup. Good shield positioning down here. Yeah, this might be Haku's best character for sure. Alright, gets the Mecha Koopa again. Delta Slash takes it out, but now he's in a situation where he needs to get off the left side of the stage. Okay. Nice, nice. Get the up tilt. Get the forward air, and now Entropy's in a bad spot. He learns from his lesson before, doesn't get hit by the eject. Um, Alright, takes his time. Mecha Koopa, oh wow, he's able to dodge that cannonball perfectly. That was a very scary situation. 
gets the burnout confirmed. No way, Tempry's gonna take it and he robs Haku game three. Wow, that is actually insane. And if he was looking like he was on the ropes, that was a perfect way to take all the momentum away from him. Moving on to the next round, excellent game. Wow, <laughs> that was actually insane. I feel bad almost, like 70% to forward smash. All the rage helped too in that situation. That was a very scary situation. John, I was very scared for you. Aw, oh, dude. Hey, man. All right. We got the spiciness coming from here. It's Cougars. This is what you see right now. All right. So let's reset. Um, see who we got next. I believe it would be Compost and Mr. Mecha Man. So let me do that real quick. There you go. All right, so yeah, get his bracket all nice and ready. I really thought that, that was going to go the other way. That was a tremendous, tremendous amount of uh, mental effort shown in that event. Yeah, baby. Where would you like to go, good sir? You want to go good personality battlefield? Right. That's not good personality battlefield. <laughs> no, that's battlefield. I'll show you. It was scary for sure. Um. It's not small. And has a good personality. You want to go main or do you want to go random? <laughs> Entropy got me this hat. JSTOR will be back in MTF. I am not placed yet here. I've only been here five games. But yes, sir. All right, so, um, yeah, bro. He falls it. Nothing back. I'll take that later. In any case, yeah, it is tomorrow. Go to MTF tomorrow. It's going to be really fun. Um, these will try to take all your money, but if you're really good, you can prevent that from happening. Just like Citadel did last time. All right, oh, Compost with an excellent forward air. Yeah. However, Mr. Mecha Man's recovery is too good, and Zephyroth is not enough. So now Mecha Man's in a situation where he's ahead. How is he going to handle being ahead versus a character who has way more resources than him? Okay, gets the down air on the re-grab. Or down tilt, rather. Oh. Okay, oh, wow, that was a smart counter, but he just didn't land it. Okay. See, now this is a character where I would try to do all those downers he likes to do. Um, but he's not doing them right now. And he has the lead, and now he's trying to get damage. I mean, he's just... Right. It just sucks that he's now finding the damage after the stock. Like, you want to get the damage as you get it. Tries to challenge the downer, but it's unable to. Ooh, misses the grab. Up smashes. And now Gene is just really trying to find a way to, to put pressure and get damages because Mecha Man's doing a great job holding, but he's not necessarily making progress himself. But that back air might be speaking differently. All right, doesn't fall off the platform. I know what he was looking for. Gets an up smash, and that won't kill. However, next one definitely will. It was, for sure. All right, get the F tilt. I think it was Sour Spot. Oh, misses 
the downer. That was so close. Okay, up E. All right. Up smash. Yep, that's it. That's gonna take the stock. And now Pop Pulse is at one. Uh, and Mecha Man. Both E's. Perfect oh, timing, and that's gonna get. Oh, not yet. However, that was very close. All right, now he's. All right. I saw the nervousness there. Like he definitely wanted to fish for the double downer there. He hit it, but so what happens is that when you do it hit the pillow, there's a counter frame, and then if you don't hit it, it reverts to an attack. But in between the counter part and the attack part is a time where you can hit it. Nah, bro, that was definitely good timing on Andy. You gotta give it to him there. Where's what? Alright. Okay, I see what's happening here. They're saying the mic is super low. Oh no, did all that commentary get lost? That would have been awful. I don't think he has the right mic on. Here, testing one, two, three. Can you hear me? All right, moved up channel three ever so slightly. So hopefully, uh, the game is better. Ah, Jesus nice. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, there you go. Thank you. Man, Venny with the producing uh, tips of it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully, now you can hear me consistently. I got my boy Jason behind me. Uh, if we can get it to the commentary, Compost gets down throw, forward air, misses, and gets in there. So now he's going. Oh, he went for all the sauce. And just lost it, bro. I don't know why he did that. Sometimes you gotta do it. He's at one stock, he was at three. Right, no, I, I can't fault him for that. You're right. No. <laughs> I didn't realize how fast the game was progressing while I was trying to get the, the producing together. Alright, got the up B. No sauce this time, gets an up smash. Alright, Tui. Now, this is where you get scared, right? Because when you're in the lead like this and you go over something like that, it could really break your momentum missing. And now Andy has to, to recognize that he sees him as less and will play harder. So there's facets to this. Yeah, you can see the nerves in the Sephiroth player right now. He's trying to find a way to get in, but he's getting stuck down right now. Right, right, right. All right, goes up smash. And Andy's like jumping a little too much because he's trying to find a way to get in. I know his movement isn't the best on the ground, but jumping all the time isn't gonna give you what you want per se. Okay, gets the counter. Nice, gets say, the two. Mecha Man's doing really good at holding his last stock. Oh wow, just misses the up smash. However, up throw is gonna kill at this percent, so we'll see if he's able to get it. <gasps> nice. Just through the counter. Wow, that's crazy. I thought he was gonna get hit too, but 102. Plant's actually one of the heaviest characters in the game, so this is actually not terrible compared to Sephiroth, <gasps> who is light and is unable to punish him off of that 50. This is looking like a game, this ladies and gentlemen. This is a mental game right here. Okay, hits him 86%, he's and now he's a kill rage. Oh my god, okay, gets smoke again. Back air, misses the back air, but now he's fishing. Gets a down B. 
Oh my god, and he's playing Epic Mind. Oh. No, and he gets the counter, and that's gonna be it. Yeah. Excellent way to Choo -choo. close out by Compost, nice but playing job. it a nice little job. too close. Wow, that was intense. Jesus. All right. You gotta respect it. I respect it. 100%. Um, excellent set. Mecha Man was bringing it back towards oh, the end. What a game. Absolutely, what a game. Hell yeah. Wow. Dude, this is actually a pretty thrilling six man bracket. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, everyone here is really good. You can see the progress over the, over the weeks. Yeah, bro. All that work into the Breakfast Club, which, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, come to the Breakfast Club. Yes, sir. Best way to get some free practice. Free? Uh, yeah, bro. Just pay 10 to enter, and uh, bracket is completely free. It's a great way to practice a tournament mindset. Um, get VOD reviews, get one-on-ones -on -one with a bunch of different people. It's a really cool resource, so utilize it whenever you can, every other Monday. And then you just did it went to downbeat, and I don't know why. Yeah, man. All right, well, I got to play Entropy on stream, so let me get the mic off to Handy, and uh, I will see you guys later. I don't know why you're handing it off to me. Like, you think I'm... You are the commentator. Yeah, bro. Yo, you just broke the mic! He got so scared. Did he actually break it? Bro, you were stressing me way too much. I don't know how I missed it. Go. You were so close. Yeah, one job. You went down. You went one job. Like, I promise. I had to check it. I was down to check I should have had that, though. But oh, you were doing great. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. fantastic, bro. All the difference is you. Yeah, bro. You had your mind. You were winning the mental chess. Yeah. Who am I eating? Oh, okay. So I have to play fight Entropy if he loses the Felix, which probably will happen. Oh, don't say I don't do it like that. It would be really funny if he lost. We want it to happen. We don't like Yoshi players. I just realized I didn't eat anything <laughs> today. That's a problem. See, like, on my gameplay is just I need to slow it down more. Make an example. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. Teams. These two just gotta see. So we have the the main man of this bracket, Felix, who's gonna try to run his own tournament again so he can try to get a second perfect again. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's out here training everybody to go against one of the best. He uh, over easy plays pretty consistently as best as he could amongst the top players. He's just trying to boost his stats, that's all it is. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> Maybe I'll say that off <laughs> Yo, he for real does. Alright, let's see how... Okay. Uh, that's the old easy combo, you know, you got, can't hang on that little that long. No, that's the over easy special combo. So it becomes under hard. Under hard. Just missing that egg roll though. Yo, he just tried to tongue him. Trying to button that. John hit his head. No, I think he was at first, and now I think now that he reset neutral. Well, not anymore, but he's trying to reset neutral. John hit his tippers. Nice. See, he hit it. Damn. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm frame perfect at the worst times. Did you? Did you really? <laughs> Literally the fucking frame as I fucking hit it. And, and when do we talk to bracket, bro? I don't hear that. Yo, no, because stream could hear it. They have the road mics over there. Oh, so no. we so stream could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I still I don't understand. You gotta put all your attention on the match. Easy play. He's silent, he's focused on what he has to do. Felix trying to run this tournament. She doesn't want to die like the queen. I hate you. <laughs> cancel Mecha <Mac -Man. laughs> You can't cancel the cancel the Alright, that was that was beautiful. Okay. God, the LSD of just the characters is the best. I'm trying to 
to see if I can figure out Enter Food's game right now. I'm not sure. Who's Just trying to hit his tippers. That's all it is. Create space and hit his tippers. But that trades. But Yoshi, as what you can see here, he's just gonna freaking uh, try to close that distance as best as he could, not to give him that tipper. Just hit him with that tail. We don't worry about that right now. No, we don't. You gotta see much character to switch characters. We got a Byleth? Oh, he's going Byleth. We haven't seen the Byleth in a hot minute. Female Byleth, too. That's nice. But he likes bulk Byleth. Okay. He knows his combos, alright, alright. He does. You can get his tippers here. Okay, he's playing it safer, a lot safer than he was before. He built a whole D&D campaign around Byleth. Uh, uh, tell me about this guy's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he's been doing D&D for like the past three months. I've been, I've been hooking, I've been trying to hit him up. He just got back to me. He won't let you play in D&D. Oh, he just egged him. Oh, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> beautiful by him. I respect it. Now, no, you got to go for stuff like that. You got to. Had he mashed any more buttons, that guy would come. And there he goes. He brings it right back. Oh, no. The wheels are turning on it. And he's forehead. Oh, he just did three nares in a row. Can you get a fourth nair? No. There we go. There's a nair. 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 Spiked. Beautiful spike. Beautiful spike <laughs> by him. He shut that shit down real quick. Yo, don't let him pawn on you like that. Disrespectful. Alright, combos. Nice. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Now he just gotta get his mind together because he knows that over easy is gonna try and do his best to like close, close, close itself. And oh which he did. God. That forward <laughs> smash, the extension of Yoshi's godforsaken limbs. Ridiculous. Ain't no way. <laughs> Horrible punish. Orizi was getting Orizi was getting mad at the amiibo I trained because it taunts. <laughs> it does his taunt. I was <laughs> For one up smash. It oh does. my god! He had just had to do a little bit of more micro space. But no, he doesn't got that yet. Now he just has to edge guard this perfectly or ledge trap perfectly. And he got back on stage. So he didn't do that. But now the tables are turned because he can do the same thing to him. No. But he drifted too much really? away. He should have died to the fucking upbeat. That's a 2-0 oh, over easy. Shit is he so played fucking that game bold. really smart. He knew what well, he's actions so to take and what not to take. And he closed that out pretty consistent. <laughs> what? Any comments? Yeah. The fuck, you, the fuck you got a comp on him for? Because uh, I, I got a body, so I can't let him have the momentum. I have to give Oh, him it's him. your boy. Yeah, bro, you're next. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Baby. Okay, I had to heat check real quick. I apologize for that. But um, uh, 2 0, uh, good win. Start? And now we have uh, J Storm's return to uh, the greater Stroudsburg area as he goes to fight Pulse. Uh, Com Pulse is rapidly improving and doing a fantastic job. So let's okay. just. He is here in the right best up. arena in the world. The Absolutely. Tell him 100%. All right, so we got a There's canon a Kingdom Hearts battle here, Sephiroth versus Sora, and it's going to be a pretty good one.
Oh, he has to put his name in. I do. He's loser, bro. Who, who does? Who? Yeah, it's my first tournament. Who this man? <laughs> Yo, you almost won your game. Can we talk about that, bro? Both of those you actually really could have had. You just dropped see, the last minute. See, what happened? My problem is, is always last hit, last time. Oh, word? Like I could have been, I took, could have taken a game off of fucking Entropy's Joker at the Warriors' way. Yeah, bro. The fucking game cheated me out of the stock. But now you can get your run back, bro. You can beat Entropy, and I'm then all. Probably going funny. I hope. Not, not that I hope, but like it's probably gonna go funny. And then a Ken is probably gonna pop up, and or Rosalina. Right. And it's I'm gonna be one of you sick. And I'm gonna be fucking pissed off. <laughs> I hate getting Ken when I do randoms, bro. Nah. Shout out to all the Ken mains because Ken is super hard to play as. All right. Yo, look at these two fools. Yeah, man. Jason really died his hair. He did. He's blind. He's Justin Timberlake, bro. Nah, you're trying to look like Slim Shady. That's what we told him. We said, oh, because I'm real Slim Shady. Please stand up. <laughs> All right. So he shakes it off, gets his, um, I think that's Wisdom Suit. Yeah, so gets his Wisdom Suit ready for uh, combo. So we'll see what happens on PS2, game one. I love the LSD character. I do too. Compost uh, talked to me about this matchup before J Storm got to the event and said he felt really comfortable. Uh, Sora claps, or not Sora claps, Sephiroth claps him. So we'll see if that's true and if Compost can do it the right way or if J, J Storm will get to him. Wow, that was almost really bad. <laughs> okay. From Gene going all the way to Grand's and Warrior's way last Thursday, can he do it tonight? We'll see. I mean, he definitely has the potential to do it. Um, but J-Storm's not going to go down without a fight. Uh, he's one of the more polished people I've ever played with, and I've known him my entire life. So, um, if he can shake off all the nerves that he usually gets in bracket, I know that he's going to be a top contender, not just at the Breakfast Club, but at MCF as well. So we'll see what he can do in the weeks to come. Bro, I wish I could have faced like, J-Storm in bracket, because I took a game off of him during the practice. Oh, word? I did. Oh, uh, dude, that's awesome. Okay, get the... Sonic Blade doesn't get a confirm out of it. Oh, Octo Slash gonna push Sora away, but we all know Sora is coming back from that. Doesn't tech, and unfortunately is not able to get the landing up there that he's looking for. Gets scared of the Shadow Flare, and now he comes back. Gets the down air, and just like Aerith, Sora goes down. All right, stayed in shield way too long. I think he wasn't comfortable with Compulse being in shield himself, having the lead. That was kind of weird. Um, however, J Storm has to fish for a way to come back from this. Ain't no way. We have three musketeers here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so Gene trying to fish for it again. Gets this until a side hit. Oh wow, Down Smash unable to kill, but it does um stop him. However, he loses his life for it. And now Jason is looking at a three to one situation. Uh, takes some time to assess the situation, calm down, goes for a dash attack, and now he's going for the kill. Gets the air dodge and unable to find anything from it. Jason is just mashing options right now, but surprisingly, it's not you know failing him. It kind of looks like almost a cage game. Bro, he's listening to K-pop right now. I'm sure he is. Okay. All right, get good counter. Goes for the double, and that's gonna be a smart way to take Compost's first stock. However, he has a long way to go. Um, 418 left on the clock, so we'll see if uh, this game tends to lag as Compost extends the lead. Okay. Oh, too much of a read to commit to right there in the situation where you're behind. Gets a down smash. And don't forget about uh, Sora's counter too, because Sora's counter, I think, is even more busted than Scintilla. Okay. Um, he's landing aggressively on his shield with Sonic Blade, which I don't like. Oh, and that was a nasty call out. Oh, That's definitely going to be a neat in a couple of weeks, bro. Just said, here you go. That's going to be the first game.
Gene taking the first one and what could be an upset win. I mean, J Storm is seated second. So Compost looking to kind of prove that he's and the, the next man up here in this venue right now. Taking some time to go through uh, bands and stage lists as he tries to figure out where they're going to play next. I imagine Hollow Bastion if it wasn't banned. However, if it was banned, um, oh, never mind. There you go. Hollow Bastion, he's always going to go home sweet home. Thor is definitely the play for uh, for Jason here. Oh, and we got a good song too. I love this song. We do need a back to club battle, bro. <laughs> I know I couldn't talk. <laughs> All right, he counters the, the side beat, but obviously nothing happens. Ooh, just barely slides through Sandaga, and that's going to be a nice way to get back to the stage from Pulse. Gets the counter on the up smash. Oh, all right. Counter. Tries to get the Scintilla kill again, unable to. Goes for the the noob into the forward smash, but is unable to get the last hit that he needs for it to connect. Okay. Oh, gets it, but this time uses the wrong move. Had he got the forward smash there, I think it definitely would have gotten the kill. And Gene's just playing really, really good right now. Oh, he went for the cheese. Okay. Goes to down air. It's looking like Jaystorm's problem is having uh, difficulty killing. He, he can get damage rack up for sure. Um, but finding those options on Sephiroth, and now that you gave him wing, it's going to be that much harder. Uh, okay, oh, gets the shield break, and that's going to be easy forward smash. Oh, that's the up smash kills, and it does. All right. is playing like he wants to be in winner's finals. J-Storm has to dictate the pace of this match because if he's not going to, you know, slow it down, he's just giving Compost everything he needs. Compost did get a lot better. Uh, shout outs to him, bro, because I've been working with him heavily. I know Mike has, and, you know, he just is really great at taking advice and maximizing it, you know? So I'm, I'm glad to see that he's getting well and he's going to continue to get better. Oh, and he's going to get the counter in 49%. Sora is looking pretty scared right now. All right. Gets the back air and goes for the second back air. Compost wants to end this game. And J Storm is mashing options out of this adventure. This is what I'm talking about. He needs to find a way to slow it down. However, now he can't afford to because he doesn't have the lead anymore. Gets a forward air. Misses. Scintilla, back throw. Not gonna kill, but that's okay. Counter Sandaga, good counter, and just like that, they traded stocks doing the same thing to each other. All right. Okay. Mashing forward smash, ooh, I don't know about that one. Counter? That's a nice counter. Okay, absolutely. That's exactly what he needed to say in this game. Gets the forward tilt. Thundaga? Why would you do that? Oh, but he texts. This is so intense. Oh my god, Kompos, what are you doing? Oh my god. All right, he gets out of stage. That's fine. He doesn't have to commit to anything right now, but Sora just needs to find something. Gets dash attack. Perfect. That, oh my god, Thundaga in the up smash, Reed is going to take it, game three. That was insane, epic read by J-Storm. Town and city of Smashville. Oh my no. god, Yo, look, he's licking his lips, he knows exactly what's about to happen. He banned Town, he banned Smashville, he knows the Animal Crossing stages are not the greatest for Sora. Um, wow, that was tremendous, excellent display of mental fortitude from J-Storm out here.
shoes. That would be really fun. I <laughs> nah, Gene is uh, carefully assessing his options, seeing what he can do. This is, I'm telling you, man, this bracket, it's six people. Literally just six people, but every single game is a banger, y'all. Game three, and we will see what happens at Kalos. Oh my god. All right. So, this stage shouldn't be terrible for both of them. The swordsmen, they have the same amount of weight. Not the same, you know, but similar amounts of weight. Um, I believe that they can re utilize the resources of this map in the same way. Uh, Sephiroth with the range, sword with the projectiles. It's just a matter of who does it better. So right now, Calm is looking at like he, uh, he has the early lead right now versus J Storm. Third Sonic Blade gonna save him from going off stage. I thought he was gonna stay on, but hey, I mean, as long as he's alive, he's chilling. Gets the double hit of Sonic Blade and sends Calm Pulse away, and now they're fighting for center stage. They're really scrapping it. Wow, misses the Fire Rocket confirmed, but gets a forward smash. Tries to get a up B. He does get the win box though. <gasps> Excellent, Thundaga freeze. Unable to get it from the legend time, but he's there. He gets the Fryaga, recycles his Thundaga because he knows that's a really great option to have. Okay, jab, and Thundaga's coming up right now. Yeah, absolutely, that's gonna take it. Not really, wow, insane. Good counter, Jaystorm knows what's up. He learns from Compost when Compost did it to him, and now he's gonna keep him on the rocks with it. Good downer. I love Jaystorm's ability to, to mix up his recovery right now. It's very good, and it's what I'm used to. Jason, of course. All right. Welcome, welcome to the chat. All right, we'll see if Jason's able to clutch up. I mean, listen, the way he lost that first game, I thought all hope was lost, but that second game was just a good amount of mental fortitude. Oh, misses the forward smash. I don't know why he went for that. Up smash was definitely the play. All right, guess the dash attack. Sora's dash attack lingers for so long. <gasps> he's super low, and okay, he's able to recover from that. Gets the up air, but the wing is active. Uh, there is a start GG, but I don't think it's in the hot links for for Twitch, so we're going to have to work on that later. Um, he's typing it right now, though, in the chat, so we'll see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, shields that dash attack just in time. He's in a real bad spot. Compost! You gotta do something and do it now because if you lose this last dog, this is gonna be very ugly. Okay, there you go, 2-2. Two, two. 103 is very dangerous territory for Sephiroth who dies notoriously early. However, J-Storm dies too. Okay. Misses the grab and you can't afford to be making those mistakes when you're behind. One, two, three percent. Gets the taunt into the up smash, but doesn't connect. Man was going for a lot of sauce. Will that come back to bite him? Up air, it doesn't kill, and that's Kalos. That's the problem. You, the survivability is much higher because of the ceilings. Okay, gets another Blizzaga. Up smash, misses. Forward tilt also misses, and this is just very, very scrappy. Um, this is how you know two people around the same skill level are fighting for that second spot in winner's finals. Okay, back here. Okay, now that's a back throw and that has to kill. Yes, all right, so 2-1. 87% uh, is a lot for Sora 2 and Jaystorm's gonna have to work with it or else pay the price. Goes for the counter, baits it from, uh, from Call Pulse, but Call Pulse doesn't do anything. That was a really ugly recovery from Jaystorm that just didn't get punished. Fyraga. Good one Sonic Blade. I'm not used to seeing him just do one, so it's a great mix-up. And now he's stuffing all of them. <gasps> okay, this is an even game right now. <laughs> Jason and Combos are playing like the like the actual game, bro. Kingdom Hearts is happening live and in front of us. Oh my god. Gene, don't let this man disrespect you. Okay. 
Jason with a Thundaga tries to create some uh, some chip damage on him from a distance, and Sephiroth is having none of that. Gets a parry. Blizzard is not going to hit. Fire Rock is not going to hit. Gets a Sonic Blade and unable to do much after that. J Storm's moving around his shield extremely well, but he's just not winning any interactions. Compost is holding his own right now. Right. At the same time, uh, Compost is also not landing any of his side Bs either. Okay, gets a Sonic Blade, gets hit out of it, gets a down throw forward air. This is scary. Okay, he's unable to get out of there. Gets a forward, gets the forward air into forward smash. Down. Oh, okay, gets the read. Unable to kill. This is looking very scary. He gets the counter. And now this is an even game again, but this time they're both a couple percent. Blizzaga, oh wow, and he just chose a bad option. Don't go into that. Okay. All the poking hitboxes, and now Sora's off stage. This is so scary. All right, center stage looks like it's gonna be one. Jstorm has it, concedes. And that backer is gonna take it. Couple takes it over Jstorm. That is an insane way to end the game. He was playing so, so well, and he was just unable to get it last minute. Excellent, excellent display of uh, mental fortitude from Gene, and that's going to put him in winner's finals versus myself. Oh, wow, that was a fantastic game. I cannot believe that went down the way that it did. Oh, my God, that was an insane, insane bracket. Wow. All right, so we're gonna go into loose this bracket right now. So J Storm is gonna take a break, uh, and we're gonna have HP versus Mr. Mecha Man live. Uh, wow, that was that really was something fantastic show of uh, from games from both of them. Yo, you are playing super well, and like I said, Gene's been getting so much better. Like Gene was like bottom level player and instantly just became mid to top because of all the resources. I've been practicing with him a lot. Uh, Atlas has been practicing a lot, and he's just really good at taking advice and knowing what to do with it. Uh, fantastic and smart up-and-coming player, so so good stuff. That's not a bad loss. No, but, no, not at all. Uh, that guy was, was having a hard time with coaching, trying to find a safe option. You were doing such a good job at mixing up your recovery for the longest time, and towards the end you got a little nervous, and then I feel like every single time you had center stage, you yeah, gave it you up. And, like, you, you didn't, like, get hit, but you just... Retreated of your own accord and just like, oh, is that what I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you look back, you'll see like it, it was just stressful, but you did good overall. It wasn't a bad set. All right, I swear to god, if you get some right. dumb, it's gonna, it's gonna give me a fire emblem character. Fucking mega All right, and they I are doing randoms. <laughs> He called it! He called getting Rosalina, that's insane. He doesn't know jack about Rosalina and Luma. They're really going random right now, that's actually kind of wild. But, who knows how to play Mega I said Man, specifically, bro. Ken and Rosalina, we were gonna see. Just the awkwardness of John Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Mega Man. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> Things are happening. This is kind of moving. There it's like just neutral. It's hard to commentate because it's just a lot of like, oh shit, oh, what do I do, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see that on both players. They're just like, I don't know, but I'm gonna press this button. Same man. Well, hey, hopefully next time we do Random Cruise and MTF, they're like 1% more prepared. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, get the Rapid Jab. Unable to get the Rosa Jab into Luma Jab, but, you know, good attempt. All things considered, Mr. Mega Man is in a better position just off the nature of gravitational pull, being able to eat a lot of what Mega Man can do to pressure. Um, he loses Metal Blade, he loses Heat Crash, he loses Leaf Shield, he loses Up Air. Leaf I think Shield Down Air too. And his Leaf Shield is one of his best options to, you know, put enemies in that Right, position. oh my god, that was a raw Down Air, and that's, that's gonna even up the stocks <laughs> relatively good. Alright, misses out on Luma, Luma dies, so we got 15 seconds of Rosa spamming anything. This is a loser's match, 100%. Oh, I gotta change that. I haven't been changing that all day, bro. Oh, what are you doing? I've been folding. There you go. See, Vinny has my back. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> my cousin Vinny. No way. Oh, the oh SD. wait. Absent the chat. The SD. 
All right, guys, I'm Spanish. I'm gonna hit him with that effort. Effort, hold. Thank goodness no one's ever called me Boulder Easy. I tried. <laughs> Why? Did you just come up with that? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trademark it now. <laughs> you use it all itself, it's not the same. God damn, yeah, yeah. go on. <laughs> Alright. That is? Alright, he does it, but that was like not oh the right time to use it. I thought he was gonna SD too. 91% and John Mega Man is pretty scary right now. I can't, can't get over that. that seriously. <laughs> it feels like I'm like at the bar commentating a smash. Did he die to that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, cry. Rosalina is meant to be in the stars, but she'll always come back now. Alright. Okay, guess the heat crash? Oh! Oh my god! Oh. If he had connected that, that would have been raw as hell, that bro. Been. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest anime betrayal is heat crash to Mega Man. Alright. A back air would have sealed the deal there, but I don't think he needed to do it. Tries there, unable to do it. Oh, why would you do that? The move already came out. You know that I move lasers no a long time. Game. Yeah, that's one of those moves that you just got to punish after it's done. It has a lot of end lag, so uh, you just got to know. Um, but Entropy's going to take that one. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully Entropy a gets a Ken or uh, a Ryu yeah, to get, even up the stocks. I've only ever known like two people in my life that can play Ryu or Ken. So, <laughs> one of them's watching. It's gonna give you. I can't play this. Know, and then it's gonna give Bro, me, like, fucking they're difficult. They're, as long as you get bodied you by them consistently enough, you can learn more or less what to do. But we'll see. Oh, oh man, no, we got the the tribute to Italian Panda with the Zero Suit versus Pichu. Okay. I think Zero Suit Samus is so easy to find oh, in the character. Pichu. One of my ice on deck, trying to learn this character. Oh yeah. All right, and in case Mech Man didn't make it inherently clear to anyone watching him play, he does love hot moms. So 1-800 moms. <laughs> Are you trying to disrespect me right you now? You know a mom. <laughs> you know a mom. Point it to Andrew Delia. <laughs> she giving you a hard time. All right, chill, chill, chill. chill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> All right, so John Mars doing a lot of Nintendo Sebastiano stuff. Um... Okay. Okay. Uh, Doesn't get a dash attack there. Hopefully he learns that trait will never happen again. Right. Ooh, tries to get the back air, and that was good, and probably would have hit on a lot of other characters, but Pichu being as small as he is, is not going to land. There's a punish. Oh, doesn't get the paralyzer. Does it there, but it just thought about it way too late. I don't attach Entropy's problem. He has a hard time finding the right punish. Like, right. That one, he thought about it, but what way too late. And when he does find it, he does it a little too late. So like he has to, to get it either faster or just learn, you know? Yeah. Alright, boost kick. I was just gonna say what? that for Pichu. Honestly, he, he, has, he has the eye back. Yeah, and yeah. this is why Zero Suit is not and a top tier character. And the taunt. This is why Zero Suit is not a top tier character, and though. Kick in the mouth. Damn. Do you know that once upon a time Zero Suit's up B used to kill? I remember. Bro. <gasps> no, I, I also remember how. <laughs> Oh, where's the ass, guys? He's garbage. No way. Insane. Okay, gets the drag down off the back air. And Is he gonna do it again? no, he's gonna do it. He's just standing there, all cute and menacing. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what you fear, because he's just walking up to you and forward smash. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that, oh that back throw. Okay, I thought it was going to Right. Yo, the other day, uh, Mechami was playing a random Roy and it popped off, bro. Like, it popped off crazy. You think he has a secondary Roy? I think so. He just has to work on it, bro. Oh, Roy's a disgusting. Okay. Character. Raw, side B, F tilt. Beat you in rage. Oh, and oh. up B actually nice. works. Wow. Zero Samus, welcome back to Smash 4. How you doing? Nah, Smash 4, bro. Smash 4 Zero Suit kills. Smash <laughs> Ultimate Zero Suit doesn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Vinny, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Vinny, yeah, yeah, sorry, bro. No, literally, he played um Bucket Full of Biscuits last week, bro, and he really almost had that set, but because Zero Suit can't kill, oh. he lost it. It was so insane. Oh, 
I'm kind of surprised you brought that back as fast as you did. Yeah, bro. Pichu puts damage on himself for using Thunder moves. So <gasps> that was horrible, Di. Oh, oh my God. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, don't test that move. That move will Oh my God, he's doing it he's again. Doing Why? It. Well, GG's. Stop it. GG's. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Clip that, oh my god, that, that was such a great ever, idea. Ever. Brilliant oh, fails in Smash yeah. Ultimate. Heat Smash, welcome, how you doing? He just uh, said he had enough here. of this. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it's Haku versus um, J-Storm. Oh. oh my god. What yeah. the world was that? Wow, bro. Talk to us. Talk to the chat. Tell them what you were thinking. <laughs> were you thinking? <laughs> That's so insane, bro. I can't yeah, believe it. Unless you're giving me the option to change, which is change. I'll do that. And we'll see who Haku's gonna play. I imagine Bowser Jr. because Haku did well. There's the Yoshi. How you doing, bro? <laughs> the hate. But you know, if he if he hated Yoshi so much, you'd figure switch sides. I bet. If he hated Yoshi so much, you figure he'd be good enough to get to me. But he failed, and now he's on loser side playing Haku. So the PT coming from Haku, not advancing on the Bowser Jr. ness that was there. Okay. Haku opting to start with the Ivy Sword, which I think is pretty cool uh, because Race Leap is gonna do a lot. Um, but just as fast leaves the Charizard. I don't know. I haven't really seen a lot of Haku's PT. I know that he has one, um, at least off of his own merit. But we'll see if it holds up. Okay, got the noobs. Gets the up B and unable to hit the hit. Tries to scumbag him. Haku not being able to punish that though. 41%. Oh, dash attack. I would have loved Flare Blitz there. Back throw. Vendaga. Up be again. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. You guys are the score. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, boss. This is awesome loser quarters. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a raw up B, and that's gonna put some damage on J Storm, but it's not gonna be enough to send him either off stage or to kill. Oh my god, did he. No! Okay, oh, I thought he was gonna hit that. That would have been so raw. I really can't believe he, like, switched in a Thundaga range. That was not the smartest thing to do, but he doesn't get punished for it. Down throw, misses the up B. Okay, gets an air drag down, down throw, up B again. I'm not gonna lie, Haku's looking pretty clean with his Ivysaur right now. Granted, Ivysaur is relatively flow chart, but he's doing a good job, gets an air. Re-grab, forward throw, and that's gonna do it. All right, 76% on Charizard isn't all that much. He's a big boy. Okay. All right. Forward air. Gets a dash attack counter, and that's gonna kill. Um, Sora's counter notorious for killing people relatively early uh, based on the move that you use. I know I died at egg roll at like 60. It's really ugly. A B? Yeah. All right. Wow, okay, is able to shield. A smash, not gonna kill. Counters! That didn't kill, really? Come on, bro. How? Charizard is fat. Oh, parry! Oh, wow, that was a great parry. You gotta clip that one. That's also gonna be in the Yeet Smash books. All right, so quick one going to J-Storm. Uh, although it did look a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Haku putting in work. We'll see if the Bowser Jr. comes back. Um, right now, they're gonna work on their bans. I know J-Storm loves to go to Hollow Bastion, so he's the one banning. He's probably gonna leave it open. And we're going to Smashville, my personal favorite stage. Uh, we'll see if Haku can cook something up. 
The PT did okay, so I understand him staying if he does, but Mark. And this is the thing, he changes his characters constantly, which is, you know, good in the sense that like you're keeping your opponent off their toes, but bad if they're not polished enough, you know what I mean? And like, I, I was having the conversation with him before about, you know, really refining how you view the game with one person before you try to like have a collective, but J-Storm with the SD, um, j j j jackass in the chat, looking pretty bad. <laughs> Alright. Down throw gets the noobs. Unable to land the noobs successfully. <laughs> Alright. Gets the Tendaga. Up E. Oh. Okay. What is he doing with that shield? I guess he's try, like, trying to like shield flex, but it just wasn't working. Uh, 69%. He's not going to kill him with the, the mom's favorite percent. It's not going to happen. Um, goes for the up smash. And I felt like it would have scooped if he just didn't get hit. Haku's putting in some work on J-Storm right now. And it looks like swords are kind of giving J-Storm a problem overall tonight. Misses the up air, doesn't get an opportunity to punish that, tries to episode on the ledge, which usually works, but this time it doesn't. And now he's off stage again in a perilous situation. Will he recover? Good tech, and wow. Wow, that was such a fail. I can't believe that Haku really edge guarded and died because he got tech. That's insane. <laughs> okay. All right, so they're mashing. Uh, they're doing some some casual smasher stuff right now. Gets the counter off the ledge. <gasps> Down smash is gonna do it. Smash him on the head with a doink. Thundaga, he doesn't have the ball to go off stage. Absolutely not. Goes for the counter again. Up smash is gonna take it. And now all of a sudden, J-Storm has the lead. This is looking very dangerous. Haku with the tipper, looking pretty fantastic. Pause, another tipper, pause. And that's gonna take another stock. Now it's just... Oh, you want to tip her? Oh, right. <laughs> Yo, chill, 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 chill. Oh, yeah. Stop it. All right. So, Daystorm looking to get hit a couple more times, misses the counter, and now Marth is just um, swinging, man. He's swinging the chandelier out here. All right. What? All right, gets the back throw. I don't think anything's going to happen off of that. Get the Bazaga up smash kill, and that's going to do it. All right, so Jason with the 2 0 on Haku after looking in a bad spot. That was an excellent way to uh, to break the mold right there. All right. So J Storm and Entropy are going to play, but before that, I'm going to have myself and Compo. Yeah, All right, I'll run him, I'll run him. That's it. J-Storm is going to stay, and he's going to come back. Do you need a second or not? Who? Do you need a second or not? All right. J-Storm's like, J-Storm's like, yo, let me play some of the pain. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro, because <laughs> the SD hurt my soul, bro. <laughs> Talking I, bad I, I stuff it, with I the John, bro. Okay I'm telling you, this is the most fun I've had in a six-man yeah, bracket. Like, it's I, a super, I, super I, small I, I, one, and it doesn't even mean anything, but, like, people are just popping yeah, off. Oh, uh, we got some random shit happening. Uh, good combos, good parries, good kills, and overall it's just a another one. Situation. Let me know. Now you guys are good to go. All right, welcome back to uh, which would be loser semifinals of MTF. Uh, this is every other Monday. So what I do is uh, the Breakfast Club is a place to grind without having to worry about the risk of losing. So, uh, $10 to enter the venue, and after that, you just have access to everything. Just free one-on-ones with everybody that participates, myself. Uh, I'll give you notes, VOD reviews. Uh, of course, we have the bracket whenever people want to. It's a mock bracket. You don't pay to enter. It's just strictly for learning how to feel the game in a competitive environment. So, um, if you want to feel what it's like to be in MTF without having to pay the money to go to MTF, this is the perfect time to do it. Every other Monday, uh, I come through. So, yeah, uh, Devil's Club. And, you know, for everyone else who's watching too, it's a great opportunity for you to level up your game. Oh, 
shoot. Okay, so I wasn't doing any commentary. I was just kind of talking. But now let me get into it. Gets the up air. Tries to get a forward air loop. All right. Entropy missing the, the backwards up or tilt. And both these guys are playing it way too safe off stage. Or way too much off stage, rather. They're not safe at all. I need a, an alcoholic beverage, man. I cannot drink properly. Alright. Absolutely, man. Definitely do so. Okay. Side B. Alright, and that's actually going to take uh, Mark's stock. I didn't think that was going to connect. I thought he was going to stay in the ice longer, but oh well. Uh, Jason gets the first stock of the set, and now he's looking to extend that lead. However, Mark is going to hit a lot of tippers. I was telling the guys that John Marth is just a weird, like, in-game tag. It just sounds like a colonizer. Like, Pocahontas is on the run from this guy. I'm telling you, bro. It's weird. <laughs> okay, gets the up air, and that's going to do it. All right, good tipper. I yo, chill. I just said Mark tipper, bro. Calm yourself. All right, gets the Blizzaga, combos off of it, unable to extend, gets the Fireaga. Tries to land aggressively with a downer, and that's a problem that a lot of characters with fastball opportunities have. Like, if you have a, a diving move, you always want to do it in disadvantage at a low to high level. What a way to catch the fuck. tech. Oh Bro, my god, he misses the tech, and that up smash is going to give Jason from the first game of the set. <laughs> <It's called another laughs> <single moment. laughs> I'm not wrong, bro. Oh, John Fennec. <laughs> All right. Me Gunner? You won't. Yeah, go me Gunner. Go Ice Climbers. All right, so Entropy's thinking long and hard. Jay Storm's putting on his K-pop music. Um, all right, so Joker Sore is what we're seeing here. Is all right. to the Doki Doki Literature Club soundtrack? Nah, it's the quintessential quintuplets. So we got some Boker. All right, so we got some Boker in the game. We'll see what happens. Wish Atlas was here because he looks like a lot like Joker from Persona 5. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess Entropy's plan is to use Big Brother Arson and try to, to cheese Jason. Which may or may not work. I don't know how much Joker experience Jason has. However, he will catch him on the roll with that really long-lasting uh, force match. Wow. Arson coming out just in time, too. Tries to get a reset. Unable to. I'd love to see some, like, Ahagon just to put some chip damage on Jason right now. And he gets it. All right. Good job. He's listening to the commentator. Tries to counter in the situation. Oh my god! <gasps> raw, raw as hell. That was an amazing offstage sequence by John Marth, the Joker main. Now we gotta clip this. Yeah, bro. I hope I missed the clip so I can't. got dumped on. That's insane. No! Shut up, ads. Ads, man. You trying to get a, M a DMCA, bro? What's happening, man? Yeah, bro. Know what you like? I like good Smash, bro. That's what I like. I like good Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. And that's exactly what I'm having right now. As Jay Storm gets a, a backer kill, I think. I didn't see it quite properly. But, um, he'll see it later. Smash's counter. Gets it with the Aha. All right. We got some gun antics coming from John Fennec. And he's not getting a lot of raw hits. Tries to cheese him with the up B. Gets the F tilt. Wow, reads the counter, but he doesn't do anything about it. That was really strange. If you're going to go through that much effort to do that, punish. All right, gets the gun again. Tries to hit him with a, a backer, it looks like, but he missed. Go oh, that was such a smart backer. That was great, great knowledge of the matchup. Lands heavily with the down air, and that's what a lot of uh, Joker means are going to try to do. Gets a back air again, and now he's just trying to outbox him for as long as Arson's out. 
Arson's almost done. Get the shield interaction. Stay up there because you have to run out of Arson. He's almost done and he knows to do that. Excellent way to get out of that situation. Good fire, Aga. Counters again, trying to get Arson back super fast. No shield pressure is going to be enough to poke him. Good Thundaga, and that doesn't kill, really. I feel like I've definitely died to that myself. Yoshi's heavier than Joker. All right, back to left. Also not going to kill it. Now Arson's back. Wow. All right. Good counter, and that's also not going to kill. All these games are just doing this, man. They're just survivability checks. Up B tries to track him again with the Tetracon, and it's just not going to work. Jason with the dash attack trying to hop in. I feel like if I were him, I would definitely try to play more reserves. I do not like what he just did. However, he didn't get punished for it by Fennec. Um, I know, I know. It's just so crazy. Um, guess the dash attack as Arson is about to run out anyway. And now 177. This is a very even game despite the stock advantage Jason holds. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's still working on it. For now, it's every uh, every other Monday. Uh, it could be every Monday. I'm, like, oh, cool. I'm down with it. But. Right, gets the counter at 67% with Arson fully loaded. Doesn't wait for Arson to run out a little bit, which is, I guess, I don't know. I, I'm a mixed bag on it, because if you wait, you give him momentum mentally, but if you don't wait, you give him momentum physically. 47%. Oh, and he tries to go off stage for some shenanigans, gets the Tetracon 57%, and he's put a decent amount of damage on. That wasn't a bad arson. Uh, definitely could have done more, but also, you know, didn't lose out on a lot. Dodges the forward smash, gets f tilt himself, and now he's in a situation where he really needs to find a, a kill. Oh my god, that would have been an insane sequence from uh, J Storm if he got it. Can you bring this game in? I don't know. I mean, he's looking like he wants it real bad, but he's hanging on that ledge far too much for his own comfort. Gets the back throw. What's the punish here? Goes for the back air. I don't like it. Oh my god. All he had to do was up tilt and even up air would do the job. But unfortunately, Jason doesn't think to do it. Okay. 100%. You've got to know when he's going to mix the Tonic Blade. Okay. Oh my god. That's it. He yeah, 100%. Like the Falcon yesterday. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. I know the Falcon suck, man, but leave me out of it, bro. All right, so that was a 2-0 from J-Storm. Um, not a bad set from Entropy at all. So, excellent stuff. Up next, we have uh, Winners Finals, which will be myself and Compos. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you. So yeah, like it's just we're just vibing today. We're just vibing and weaving today. So that's all it is. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. This is the man over the easy special event. He likes to have fun here. I love to have fun here. Dude, I am that triple Yo, M. You think you're funny? You think you're funny? Oh yeah, guys. I think I'm funny too. What? What did you do? I deleted this game for tag. Oh, I have to make room for the best. You know, taxes gotta go, bro. We don't like taxes here. No, it's gonna be really funny the next time he has his tag in. I'll just change everything to jump and Bro, I, I seen that dude. Someone did that to Mondo. Did you do that to Mondo? No, I didn't do I that, did to that to Mondo. You did that? That was the funniest thing I seen that. Everyone put Mondo's controls to jump and he was like, what is this? Like, he had to back out the game and everything just to change his controls. I'm gonna. What the fuck is your. your phone call? Oh. oh, now we gotta wait because this man wants to change his controls. My controls don't exist. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think it's just a skill issue. It's funny because I can shit them because I know I'm a meme player in this game. I don't go for results, I go for funny. <laughs> no, you gotta go for the funny sometimes. That's why that's why shit talking to me on Twitter doesn't work. <laughs> Because people, goes for the style. Because people are like, oh, you're just a bad Smash player. I have to say that okay. thing that Entropy did on me was absolutely beautiful. He he went deep to spike me on PS2. Yeah, I'm he like, went deep on he you. He went right? pause on everything that anyone's thinking. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pulse, you better beat this man to the pulp. Yo, beat him like the Falcons. Oh, I was about to 
insane. Bro, beat him like how the Giants beat whatever team they beat the other day somehow. I forgot that this is my switch. Yeah, and I mean, red? Red yeah, and, like then, and, then, and then your stu and then your stupid oh, ass frame data allows you to get fucking falling up air because I gimp you with gun. Sweet. That that's so fucking dumb. Store does not have Skill the issue. best frame data. I would agree with Mr. Mecha Man here. Skill issue. My brother in Christ, your up your up air comes out on like frame three. My it's brother in does Christ. not come out on frame three. I can't confirm I that. I do know the source. My brother I in Christ. It's a skill issue. You forgot the fucking thing to name the button. Yeah, because I was fixing this headset that over easy. Oh, you don't have my Twitter, right? You, you, you gotta do it yourself. It's, it's on start.gg. Oh, is it really? Yeah, oh, I thought that was we, you guys. We literally rip everything off the of start. Oh, I was terrible. Sorry. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Pulse in control right now. Yeah, where is J Storm? Not here. Hasn't been to MTF in years. You better not tell me that what you just said is your password. I would be so pissed off of it. Huh? That you said all of that because of your. Oh no, you're looking at frame data. Yo. I want to watch this match again. Pulse. Pulse. Gene. Do it for Atlas. So I can fix. Yeah. Oh. Beat him that like. Was good. The, that was good. Beat him like the Saints beat the Falcons the other day. Mm -hmm. Over easy, like. Yeah, let's go. I, I'm, he's just trying to. He's trying to worry about. Make him look like the Falcons against the Saints. Why do you think? He sounded Indian. Oh. Yo, he tried to duck, but like that. Ah, damn. S. Shitter. <laughs> but. He has a comeback factor called zero zero, in which your opponent will get bodied as such. I would have Watch the body as he bodies him. I was about to say he. Why you gotta do him. that to him? Well, that's the thing about over easy. He, his skill set, he might be inconsistent. But that zero zero is the most terrifying thing ever. If you're in the lead, bro. If you're not in the lead. That shit's easy. Gene, just use your big sword. That was missed the tongue. Destroy the egg. Oh, good. You ever think about it? Like when he throws the eggs, that just he's killing his offspring. I never. Wait. No, there's no, because when it breaks, there's nothing in it. Yeah, because it's not fully formed yet. Well, I'm pretty sure something has to be inside the egg. You know, it wouldn't just be. Egg. I got it. He read that. Beautiful forward smash by Ace. He's taking game four. You said what? Game five. This is game five, supposedly. Felix just wants to feel good about himself. We know how, how we... <clears throat> Anyways, he did very great that game, let me tell you. He, he, he played smart, he did what he had to do. The Sephiroth player also played smart. Really not much, both players were feeling each other out throughout this entire set. This is Felix. <laughs> you guys, just to let you know, Felix does have a fuck finish, just to let you guys know. He doesn't want to admit it. But I was going to say, I know this guy for all my life, and if he tells me this, <laughs> bro, that's it. I don't know everything I know about our friendship is... Felix! No. You have a foot fetish? No. Okay, as you heard that from him, folks. <laughs> he does not have a foot fetish. If he did, I just we could have been best friends. How would I not know about my... <clears throat> Never mind. Anyways. Why are you talking about this? <laughs> I'll talk about to the match. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to admit it. Uh, Yoshi's feet, you know, they do extend a lot, so you gotta respect it. That neutral air comes out really fast. You gotta respect it. Oh, he's doing the dance. Well, he just he just confirmed to everybody that he's not. A, Supposedly, he's, not. he's too he's too afraid to admit it. Oh, yo, thanks, Kaji, like for the Like right now, he's trying to neutral air him. He raided us for talking about. Beautiful. 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 
beautiful, absolute beautiful com confirmed kill. Indeed, indeed. There's some dubious activity Felix is doing right now. Took one compost. You can see that he's in the game right now. Let's let's focus on the set block. Let's see what his options are. He's in gamer mode. Yo, thank you for the raid, though. We all appreciate it. As this okay. is finals, <laughs> this is winner finals of the Breakfast Club. My goodness, guys. He's doing too many counters. He's gonna get, he's gonna adapt to that right away. So throwing that egg, killing his off. Uh, honestly, I approve of that. Kill the Yoshi. Gene. So clearly he was looking for another neutral air, but he's gonna get stuck out by his own. God, just chase him. Do you know what the play is? So cautious right now. Not let the funny happen. No, against all reason, you cannot play like too safe. Let them, I'm sorry, not not too slow, I should say. You, you have to be three steps ahead of over easy because his brain goes and not to be looking for his next nice uh, choice. He only does it when he's at the breakfast club, but if he's anywhere else, it's not how it works. Typically, at the breakfast club, he like he somehow lives at ridiculously high percentages. God, this game one, right? Oh, game two, I mean. Over easy took game one. Take a little with that sword. Up, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, A, B, A. <laughs> you know the coming. I think I just said one too many A's, but you know what? It still would work technically. Second. Show him your big sword, Gene. Beautiful! God dang! That wasn't showing the sword enough. Hey, man. My God. See, I think what his problem is is that he's trying to fight him. He's trying to uh, box him right back, and you just cannot do that against him. Trying to box with God. You cannot fall. Don't call Yoshi a God. The hell. I do not. The trash ass term. No, it's something. Uh, oh, it's something un um, entropy would understand? You mean Mr. Hollenheiser, John Fennick? John Marv. Yeah, John Marv. <laughs> trying to be Ignaz so bad. Not even here to defend himself. Oh, he is. John Marv, calling you out. What's up? Huh? Come on. <laughs> John Marfy. He loved the name, bro. I don't know. Imagine getting body and bracket. John Marv. Somebody uses their full name again. No, their first name and the first name of a character, bro. Jay Sora. Uh, yeah, I was, I was thinking Tom the whole time. Yeah. But I was like, Sora's just a great name. It's great. But then again, no. <laughs> Someone was like, this shit. Oh, that's a very. Are we going F? Let's go. No. Yo, let's go a funny stage. Let's go Picto Chat, guys. No. If you are true gamers, you would go WarioWare. <laughs> Biggest battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at Warriors Way? Yo, I gotta show you. Uh, before we start, I gotta show you. Uh, oh, he's setting up the music for final. Oh, God. Well, guys, I, I don't know what to say. He put on the Yoshi song for FD. Oh, my God. Why is this? Night, Vinny, bro. Oh, tell me. Okay. Good night, Vinny. Alright, here we go. Yoshi's Island, FD. This is the Warriors Way stage, bro. 
Yo, feel of uh, Fountain of Dreams should be unfinished. I said it's what Minecraft world it's sweet because it changes every time, so you should not have a full no one should have a full on game plan. I don't know. I think that's that's too much. Fun. My god! god. Damn, Chris, like, I don't gotta do entropy like that. You just gotta play it like as if this is Warriors one. Uh, no shot. Don't let him 3 0 you. Yo, you should play Lucina. Yo, it's because it's Yoshi. Bro. I'm telling you. Oh, beautiful forward smash. So they kill him. Oh, damn. He forgot about it and he's beautiful. That was just so Not a 3 stuff. Okay. Kill the Yoshi. Kill the Boshi. Rock the boat. Oh! Okay, that was good on both ways. Okay. Yoshi. Gene. I want the grand during Warrior's Way. Make it a grand winner side here. Make this your first tournament win. Six person bracket. <laughs> 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 oh, that okay. Good. Don't let him marry. Okay. No, I have not seen him do any okay. No, no. no, I have not seen him. Ah, oh, that's it. You get an F pretty easy for SD, but he got the game. Oh, Solid for real a winner's final. With that, I am off. It's time for you to tickle your time. Yeah, bro. Tickle my time. Oh wait, you yeah, you beat entropy. I forgot. My God. Did you delete my tag? No. That would be funny. I think. Yeah, I know. It's something it he would do. He would do it. He would do it right back. He would. Yes, sir. Let me make sure I have my phone. We cannot play that. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. That's my phone. That's it. Minecraft World should be unbanned because it has four, four or five different options for the stage it could be. So it just throws off anybody. So it's not, so it's not a counterfeit for anybody. Still <laughs> okay. in the match? Uh, yeah. Alright guys, we are one game or set removed from Grand, so let's see what happens. Yo, Gene, you better whip this guy in that spot. Hey, yo! <laughs> Don't be doing all that. Both these guys are, you know, tremendous fighters, and they fought a lot to get to this point, and they also previously fought. Uh, so we'll see if Jason learns anything from the loss that he had earlier in the day. Um, Can I feel some shape? Please stand up. He's sitting right now, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Kaju, how was yesterday's bracket? Tell us all about it, and what did you do? He misses the confirm. <laughs> I'm a Sonic fan, and there is a sound of disbelief. JStorm is mashing right now. Look at his camera. He's just not present uh, as Pulse has a very early lead on him. All right. Parries the, the last Sandaga. Excellent job. Misses the Blizzaga. I thought the frizzle parts of it was definitely going to connect and freeze him for you know, a brief second. Didn't happen. Counter. Uh, and he gets to get excellent away. That was crazy. I don't think that bait. Like, was that true? The entire setup? That's awesome, bro. I love to see it. The competition for the DBZ scene is actually insane. Uh, Y'all should definitely pull up on Sundays. It's a fantastic time. I know I'm trash at FGC, but I, I gotta try to pull up at least one. So I definitely will make a better effort. Um, in the meantime, we've got these two guys in finals. Speaking of finals themselves, 
and uh, J Storm is slowly understanding how to to get damage on Pulse, and he just is looking for a kill, which was ultimately the problem he had last time. Ooh. Gets out of it this time. Yo, we love all the Yeah, bro. The best with peaceful agreement and North East yeah, bro. Teach me, Sensei, please. I'm gonna sit down with you and you're gonna teach me the game. Cause I love the, the story and the character, so it just sucks not being able to play the game that they're from, you know? That too! <laughs> Gotta have some breakfast at the Nato. <laughs> Isn't Waffle House like down the road? How are you talking to those two? Alright, so in any case, um, Jason back throws him and Cole Pulse dies! I, maybe he didn't have a jump, maybe he grabbed him when he had his jump but was landing. I don't know what that situation was, but he just didn't make it back, which is very off course to Sephiroth. Alright, attack the, the Scintilla and that's gonna take it 1 1. And this is how it feels. Every single game between them is like back and forth. Counter, counter. Uh, we'll see if one of them prevails. One of them has to. Okay. Good up airs. The IDJs are working in Justin's favor right now. Okay. Up air again. Misses. Goes for it one more time. Is patient with it. Doesn't see the confirm, so he doesn't go for it. Careful to avoid Sephiroth's down air in that situation, but I don't think he would have died even if he did get hit. Just nice. Goes for up smash read, but that was way too risky. Goes for it again. However, that one wasn't a read. It was just kind of a uh, pressure. The noob is going to get it, though, and that's definitely going to be a stock in a, a game for J-Storm. So excellent way to put himself on the board. And this also is a game of five, so uh, we'll see if he's able to put 3-2 here. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that sounds awesome, bro. All right, so our next game going to be played in Bridge of Elden. Uh, oh, oh no. Mishima Dodo. <laughs> All right, they're going to Kalos. Um, this is where they had an intense last game. Uh, we'll see if it is just as intense this time around as it was before. I got to remember the intermission stage. Good pressure. I love the shield pressure that Pulse has had all day, especially in bracket. Gets the Scintilla again off stage. Is he just going to keep going for it? I mean, he can. Oh, and it's just mate on the timing there. He was going for the counter one more time, um, which I don't blame him for. If you have the resource, use it. Okay. Gets the counter one more time. That one, I think, was the stall in the air, however, uh, and is still off stage. So J Storm, fantastic job keeping the, the center stage pressure. And now Pulse just has to get in counter into counter. That was a very weird interaction. And they're just spamming counter this game, bro. What is happening? Oh my god, these low level Smash players are just fighting counter all the time, bro. I'm sleep. Nah, they're not low level at all. These guys are actually fantastic. If you want low level, watch over easy games. All right, good stall attempt at least. He was trying to stall to get out of that flame, but he still died. Okay, gets the down tilt into up smash, and that's gonna be a stock two two. Oh yeah, baby. And Jason's just trying to dance around a shield, get some type of pressure so he can inevitably poke. Uh, unable to do it, um, however, uh, he's not getting punished too hard. 44% to 12 is not hard to overcome, uh, as he gets halfway there already. Nah, Kaiju, you're brilliant. You're not a low-level player, you're just a potentially top-level player. That's how you gotta view it. Good counter, good counter. I thought he was a little too- Oh, he did double counter? Wow, bro. This is a very weird game that's happening right now. Alright. 
they're kind of zoning each other out. They're not interacting too much, uh, but they know that's because if they can, uh, if they fail, it's kind of curtains. Look at them. He got three already, 135%, and that's very, very hard to to ignore. However, 90 is back up with the wing, and that just makes James Storm's job all the more harder. He has to take these stocks early than that. Tries to go for the grab. All right, and this is a very, very, very tense game. Talos seems to be playing to both their needs, like I said, um, extremely well. Forward air. All right. I would have loved to see another forward air there. I think he was trying to fish too hard for one specific outcome, and because he didn't get it, he didn't consider all the other things at his belt. Gets a back air. That doesn't kill. Very surprising. Yeah. He's very into it. And that's actually um, a very important part of the game. So for those watching who are like trying to learn from this, uh, sensory is very much a real thing. And it's just kind of like understanding that both yourself and the opponent have feelings. And being able to, to internalize those feelings, read them, and react to them uh, makes you really strong as a player if you can manipula manipulate them into your favor. Uh, manipulating stress, anger, um, even cockiness at times can be uh, super important to a run. Oh wow, that was a step away from connecting and giving Pulse the game. Okay. Goes for the fair again, tries to get him with the Aerith, and he just wasn't able to connect. He was able to hit that up air before the move even came out, so. Alright, good Sonic Blade. As was that one, I love the the ability to hold back from J-Storm, but right now, you know, he's 50% plus. Oh, I don't love, I don't agree with that air dodge at all. Oh, wow, he caught him on the re-grab, and that's going to be it. Post taking the next game. It seems like we got an audience out here for, uh, for compost. J-Storm looking like he's all on his own. All right, let's drop our folks. They're holding down their boy while <laughs> Jaystorm from Mount Pocono is just laughing it off. He doesn't know what to do. How to fight against the crowd. That is also super, super important for Smash players. And there's no real answer. You just kind of grow comfortable with it. All right, so we got Battlefield X Kingdom Hearts. This is kind of a weird stage too, because in some ways I understand why it's very strong for Sora, but at the same time Sephiroth like pokes really well on this map. Uh, up smash is a brutal, up tilt can scoop very very heavy, uh, resets off platform are really great for Sephiroth. Um, but when you're getting juggled, it's a, it's a pretty bad situation. Alright, get the down throw. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta put the game back in the game mode. There you go. Yo, Andy, you wanna fight, bro? That's it, man. Meet me outside right now. Oh, wow, that was an excellent conversion. Jason's gonna lose his stock right away. Oh my god! No way! And that's definitely gonna kill? Yeah, yeah. Except for super light. I really can't believe that that went down the way that it did. Both those interactions happening back to back, just complete and utter breathtakers. Oh my god, thank goodness he landed on the stage. I was worried he was gonna SD there. I think he did at one point earlier today. Oh, it was against Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was going for a, a read, but he just missed it by like one, one angle. Oh, and he SDs again! Oh my god! Yo, why'd you have to jinx him like that? I'm sorry, Dude, man. Cool. It just happened. But, at the same time, you know, it is really hard for Sora to, to do what he wants to do against Sephiroth. It's a hard matchup, so we'll see if uh, Jason is able to, to overcome that difficulty. Meanwhile, uh, Compost is playing very angry, upset at himself for that loss, but he knows that he has the skill necessary to override that mistake. 96% to 35, and like I said, man, he definitely has it. 106. 
Puts him in the corner again. Get out of there, absolutely, 100%. Thank goodness he didn't try to approach um, Compost, because if he did, he probably would have got hit. With Dogger. Sora's recovery is so big, but the problem is that it's so like um, slow as well. So, you know, you can recover from wherever, but if you're ready for it, you know, it's real easy to get that. And honestly, surprisingly, I haven't seen a lot of down smashes with the ledge from Gene because it definitely could work and it's risk free. Alright, get the down throw. Sandaga again, and not gonna kill. Wing is gonna help him out a little bit. This is game three. Alright, 99%. I had 99 problems, but last oh, stock yeah, is not one. I gotta make sure that the chili man is coming to us. Oh, yeah, oh, word? That's lit. Is it like Kevin's chili from the office? Because that's kind of funny. I don't know. He's not gonna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> drop it like a car. Alright. Um, got a Sonic Blade. A little bit risky. Oh, it's risky. Oh, very risky. I don't know why he did that. <gasps> no, he didn't. Oh my god, he lost that stock oh. again. And Gene is one game away from going to Grand Finals. He just robbed J-Storm. J-Storm is looking sick right now. He definitely has that game in the bag. And Gene, like I oh, said, he was playing angry. He knew he had the ability to, to come back. But now J-Storm's got to unlock that monster in him too and let him know. Um, tournament nerves are a demon to people when they're trying to get to the next level. And you, both these players have the skill to do it. They just have to find themselves in the right environment to overcome that problem. Alright, back to PS2. And he's got to play this smart. Okay. Good job. Gene boxing J Storm very, very well. I like the, the tilts. Goes for the forward smash finisher and Justin shields it just in time. Um, both these guys are going for very, very aggressive options. It's like whatever one person does, the other person mirrors. And because of that, it's a very interesting dynamic that these players have had with each other. Gets the counter. 60% and now Jason really needs to slow it down and figure out what's happening. Got to get it into control because right now Pulse has it. Yes. Uh, well, he did have go to Colossal Con um, this past weekend, um, and he did ninth. So out of 40, yeah, that's pretty great, I would say. Gets the noobs. Jason is no slouch. Unable to let the Zendaga go. Gets hit by the back air of Sephiroth. And that's ultimately the problem, you know, like Sora's a struggle versus character that can kind of really keep him out. The wing allowing him to, to eat that without really going anywhere gets hit with counter again. And he has to understand both these guys have been using counter nonstop. You have to get it into your brain that it's a possibility and erase it. You have to ruin that condition. Ooh, I disagree with that downer. And now Jason is making a lot of mistakes in neutral. Thank goodness to use the third. Okay. Gets the dash attack, and now J Storm is down to his tournament stock. Three stock situation coming from Compost. Can he close this out, or will J Storm bring back uh, game five in the most clutch situation? I thought he was going to go off stage. That was very scary. Okay. Gets the dash attack. Gets the counter, but unable to go anywhere. The sword is so long that, like, I guess it didn't register Sephiroth as being there. Interesting. He just runs right through him. Back against the ledge. This is a very scary situation. How will he get back? Will he get back? Oh, and misses. That would have been a back air, and that definitely would have taken the stock. Compost is in the driver's seat going to grand finals. Gets hit with Tandaga, and Tandaga doesn't scoop up. He's sweating, and this is a really bad situation. 78%. Sora is not the greatest at coming back in the situation. He's super light. Gene's so close to not only winning and going to Grand Finals, but getting a three stock too. And I know J Storm doesn't want that to happen. At least get a stock. There you go. And that's going to be the stock. 78%. Now, this is doable. It is hard. 
it is extremely hard. But it is doable, and even with a little bit of luck, Gene did SD earlier, so who knows, maybe it could happen again. We saw Gene play a little bit stressed out when he was playing against Mecha Man earlier. Welcome Ice to the stream, how are you doing? Um, J-Storm's fighting hard, man. So situation 101, and this is where things get real dicey. Good job on the stall. He knows to go left first, gets hit with the F tilt, and now one more of those will definitely take it. And that was it. He just had to not touch him. He was definitely not making that back. Jason putting himself in the corner. I disagree with this decision. Being in the corner is not something you where you want to be versus Sephiroth in a situation like this. But he's just constantly putting himself in disadvantage. How will he break this barrier? Compost kind of struggling though. 125. And now another factor that you have to consider is that there's two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Not only is this a very scary situation to deal with, bad down smash. That was really bad. But you have this comeback that you have to make with a little bit of time left. Gene misses the down tap. There you go. Get, misses the first dash tag, but the second one gets it. Gene's going to take it. 3 1. Strasburg folks are happy to see that. And now. Grand Finals is about to happen, so yeah, first, gonna, you know, intermission, wait for commentary to take over, but excellent job by Gene. J-Storm had a fantastic run, and unfortunately, he was unable to close out, um, but nonetheless, excellent showing from both players, and I really can't wait to see what happens in Grands. Time for the best commentator in the room to be back. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. What a So we're at the very full next matchup. This back up now. Hold on. Can you guys hear me? You had a lot of fun last time. Alright, so. Let's get it. Can you guys? Alright. Alright, so. My goodness, these two in grand. My god, what a. Just early egg right now. We got the man himself, Jay Storm. How do you feel after? I'm just leaving right now. From going Not to anger, just from ninth to third, from collision to the roughest club. How do you feel? It hurts. I dropped one game, and I don't know. I was having a hard time with the Sephiroth match. It's a really hard matchup with uh, Sora because he can outrange you. He can poke you from a distance, and you have to. When you use a, an Oculus Sword, you have to commit to it because he has some uh, uh, lag to his moves. So. Oh, yeah. that time I can get punished for it. I got punished for it. The right option. So, you want to keep on it. Really, second time he's been in Grands in four days. He was in Grands at the Breakfast Club facing Atlas. But now he's facing Over Easy tonight. I believe he went three and one at the Breakfast Club. Let's see if he can actually win tonight. It would be a very big upset. That's. That shit. Oh, that shit. I think beating yeah, beating you was a big upset, in my opinion. Yeah. No, it was an upset. Yeah. I haven't been to a lot of tournaments, but even still, like, you made it's ninth a hard that, match. You made ninth that collision, so I don't fault you. And even then, I lost to a deep hit. That hurt me. Oh my god. It was a good deep hit, but uh, that, that one hurt me more than this one. This 
boss getting whipped. My goodness. Take this stop though. He's like, can't let Felix rack up these kills. Insane grab. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't kill. I'm not, I can't, I can't even you know what? You know what? That was very, like, right now, he could still take it. He just has to outplay Felix. He gets the momentum he feels. That means he is his head. Right now, Ooh, he that got a good read right now. He know, uh, easy enough. He, he wanted that roll read. He's got to play slow. He can't let. That's so unfortunate. It's hard to play uh, slow against over easy because he's the one who's, who starts. He got he comes in to do the last one. He knows he's coming. Uh, Alabaster Palace. He has to work on his spacing to keep that Yoshi from approaching and do what he wants. I'm trying to enjoy my hot cocoa. There's a hot cocoa machine here. Holy shit. Life is good. Indeed. Would you say that the Lucina matchup's better against Yoshi or Sephiroth? That's, that's, that's a tough one. Lucina is faster with her swords. Sephiroth is slower, but he can kill her. In my opinion, I think against Yoshi, he wants to get into your face. You can have a uh, up B out of shield. You can throw out your arrow swiftly and fast. It's the first step for us. Oh, that's real good. A little bit slower. He's just so good with. Just so good with this character. Catches him though, though. That's the most important part. Beautiful. That was. He knows he's gonna. He looks just trying to do some battle shit thing. Yeah, no, you can have to. Right, all he did. Was yeah. for, uh, I feel like once, like, Paul starts pulling out some foul shit, I feel like he starts to, he, he has to try to start to have fun. Sometimes he gets, like, too much in his head. I feel like once he starts to, like, have fun, that's when he's in the driver's seat. Mm. Something I noticed about from my last match. My, my yeah, god! He took that option. He should have been a little bit more patient. He's got to take this stock now. There you go. Right there. Punish him when he comes in all the time. He's looking for the forward tilt and up air, up air still, or the down air. He's looking for all of his new cards. He tried to go for that forward smash. He should not go for forward smash. Oh my god! Hit him with the big sword. It's just the spacing. Like, when Over Easy's here at the Brub Square, like his spike, like everything about his game is just so crisp. You gotta take this stock now, though. that's the thing. Even if he fakes it at 0-0 zero, zero practically, uh, he's gonna be uh, definitely. He has to be a little bit That was beautiful. Disgusting. You can't let 
let them go up to, like 2 0. Trying to find everything you can. Not moving, but not doing anything you can. Almost out. Now, he can still bring this back. Felix left. That's where I'm scary at this percent. Kill, kill me, that's fine. Watch the other. Yeah, one up smash can just obliterate you right now. No uh, shot. I don't know why that killed. I mean, I know why that, but I don't know. It's maybe, maybe he could have been out there. Let's see what the bands are. Jeans pick. Yellow Yoshi, what are we doing here? Ah, uh, the yellow Yoshi. That is Kami Yoshi. Let me tell you about Kami Yoshi. <laughs> that man is a boxer. He is coming at you as a monster, and he's going to swoop and wash it. Yellow Yoshi, Kami Yoshi, more oh. like this Yoshi. I can't, I can't. 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 I
I'm gonna spit out my hot chocolate all over three people. Why are you gonna do that to him? Why you have to do that to him? Well, he tried to do it the three zero, but he could he could have pulled it off. So he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna end it. That's fine. Yo, thank you, everybody. Yo, let's have Felix have a look. Tell us about your Kami Yoshi, bro. Because the fan, I don't know if they know. I told him. He told him? But this is just from my personal opinion. He never told me. This when is I have to unlock God mode, I think the other way. Yep. It's to set an example. Yes, sir. Yes, my that's my God. Nice. Thank you for everybody watching, man. Yeah, man. We still got a lot of comments, but we're chilling. But, um, yeah, man. I hope you guys have a good rest of the night. We're just going to run some games, though. Yeah, bro. We're going to be nerds. A little kitty. Playing Smash. Yo. Life could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> and yet again. Over easy tries to boost his own stats at his own tournament. Let's go! He went from 57% to 58%. Alright. You're the app. It's our favorite. No, it's still streaming. Alright, you wanna start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 